All right, so we're here at Revere Beach. Mr. Pavlov, birding extraordinaire guy, has just arrived in the East Coast and he's taking lead with this birding by looking for Manx Shearwater. Um, I'm eating breakfast in the meantime. Yes, it was yesterday. Oh, yesterday. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> okay, so we just arrived at Lot 1, Parker River NWR. We're here for, on a, you know, kind of usual day for Sergey. Sergey's using his binoculars and scope with all these beachgoers around. We're... Well, we're, we're situated perfectly to watch these people, right, Sergey? Yeah, scope them out. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the bird blind. Um, we're about halfway, no, two thirds down the Plum Island. Sergey's scoping out his prey. The peeps, he's peeping on peeps through the bird blind. <laughs> yeah. All right, so no continuity in the vlog whatsoever, but an entire day has passed. Sergey stayed the night. We had dinner in Amherst, and now we're in New Haven-ish and we're at Dunkin' Donuts and we were just here to get water but then the cashier randomly told us that it's free donut day yeah. for whatever reason and now we're eating donuts everything has been explained National Donut Day on June 2nd it was all according to my master plan right Sergey? Yeah. that's why I suggested Dunkin' Donuts so can we go to every Dunkin' Donuts? yeah Alright, after this, we're going to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> after the, the hot spot. Why, yeah, why did we even pack lunch when we could just eat donuts? <laughs> it's like a donut drive through tour. Okay, so we're here at Milford Point in South Connecticut. And Sergey's doing the scoping thing. It's super hot. At least 80 degrees, maybe. Birding extraordinaire Sergey Pavlov just thinks he discovered white rum sandpiper here. Three people. Three? I thought there were a bunch. East Coast standards, that's overwhelming numbers. All right, so we're here on Milford Point. Looking at this, we're at like the sandbars. There's like stuff in my eye causing issues. But anyway, we're looking at white rum sandpiper. Uh, it's somewhere over there. And Tristan is dedicated to his craft. We're looking at Tristan looking at- Yeah, we're looking at Tristan looking at white rum sandpiper. All right, so we're here at a pseudo-Asian restaurant on the East Coast, which means no one here is Asian. And the waitress came over and gave us two pairs of chopsticks because they're just Asian. It's so funny. Are you Asian? I feel discriminated against in the middle of the white Connecticut. So funny. All right, so the parking lot is like fogging over after the rain. We're waiting for Woodcock or something. It's like really late in the day. Hi. All right, we're here on Shark Tank or whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, Sir Jay. Yes. I'm very glad I came to Massachusetts because it gave me my next idea for a startup. And when I get back to California, Armand and I are going to make millions with this idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's called the Cabbage Sandwich Kit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, this is going to be too bad. <laughs> Go ahead, come on! <laughs> okay. How do we so, eat it? <laughs> you got these two compartments here. <laughs> Store whatever sauces you want. Today we pick mustard and ketchup, <laughs> classic. <laughs> so you're gonna take your piece of ham oh, and dip it, no way. dip it in the mustard, give it a couple uh. dabs, turn it around, dip it in the ketchup. 
<laughs> Swap it around, pick up as much of that good stuff as you can. <laughs> then slap it on the lettuce. Slap on the top. Boom, you got yourself a lettuce sandwich. <laughs> and if you want more sauce, you can <laughs> pick up the, <laughs> the sad remains here. Did we use all the ham? Yes. Okay. And you finish all the ham. Okay. Delicious. Wow. Try it for yourself. It's so good. <laughs> There's no more ham. <laughs> okay. You know our mom gave me these? Hmm? These boxes? These? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Well, it was our mom's idea all along. Go ahead. Taking a video. Okay, so Tristan left us. And now we're eating pesto pizza. And it's cold outside, it's super cold. <clears throat> All right, so we're here at the Montague Sand Plains and we're listening to Whip Poor Will. Fury, I told you so. But we have no idea how to see it and it's getting dark, so let's go. <laughs> I vlog randomly. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Stony Brook's wetlands conservation area. It's very nice. Yes. Beautiful. I'm something flew across low. Oh. Is that great crested? It stopped. There's one call. It's so green. Just like Sergey, the green horn. <laughs> A coyote decoy was placed to discourage Canada geese from congregating near the shoreline. Blah, blah, blah. There's the geese and there's the decoy. <laughs> so we're here at Puffer, Puffer's Falls, Puffer Falls maybe. Sergey's surprised by the size, and so am I actually. Right, Sergey? The camera can't hear you. It's like Niagara Falls. The camera can't hear you. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> A new development. There's a fallen tree in the road. Wait, where'd it go? I think they moved it. Wait, yeah, the... there is a cat truck. What's a cat truck? Something that, that lifts might things. Might be able to, yeah, remove the tree. Okay, well, I can't even see the tree trunk now, so I'm guessing it's working. Maybe, I don't know. It was hard to see. So Mr. Padlov, what's the situation? Yeah, like the tree is, oh, what's that? Oh. The bald eagle or something. But the, the tree is parallel to the to the line. So but we can go. They were cleaning up some scraps from the road. So we can go now? Um, I think so. You know, at least we came at a good time, actually. Yeah. But there were, there were like random people helping clean up the tree debris from the road. Why weren't you there? Because it looked like they were finishing the job. Like the guy walked back to his truck. But now I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> they might want to move the whole tree <laughs> with the winch. And we're out. Look at the wench, wenching, wench, wench. All right, so we're here. Wow, that cheese is not melted at all. Now this is supposed to be hot. Me too. It's cold. Weird. Okay, well, anyway, okay. Um, we're here at Kelly's Roast Beef. Very intriguing. That's all I would say. So this is lobster, this is roast beef, and it's famous. How do you feel? I feel excited to eat. Okay. Looks like a regular sandwich. <laughs> hey, 
I haven't taken a video since lunch. So we just finished an entire tour of Boston. Not really. We just did the Freedom Trail. What did you think, Sergey? Uh, I thought it was cool. We saw a lot of places, but we should have done the audio tour. Because the website didn't really have enough info. I see. But it was still cool to see a new city. Do you wish I had researched in advance and given you the tour? That would be a lot to ask. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but that would be nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you already gave me a tour of the, the birding spots. Uh, okay. <laughs> Now we eat. 